Good day, my people, my people, my people, my people, my people. My name is Chief Strongblood. That is Chief Strongblood, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, favorite and most hated son. People, today I want to close the weekend on a positive note. I could have spoken about the shooting at Old Montreux that occurred in this week. I also wanted to talk about the girl Precious from Sign Hill, who meets her death suddenly 17 years old. I wanted to speak about the young man who was discovered at Diamonds in the car, dead, a youth, cut down in the beginning of his life. But today, I want to end on a positive note. My people, on Wednesday the 18th of May, 2022, a party of people went on a hiking expedition at to Luci Lucifer Volcano in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. A young man by the name of Colin Brown was separated from the pack and he fell, injured himself and got, went unconscious. When the group of hikers discovered that Colin was missing, they started searching for him, they couldn't find him. However, they left the Lassifre volcano. They went, they make a report to the police. Later in that evening, Colin regained consciousness. He used his cell phone and he called his people to let them know what happened to him and let them know that he's okay but he cannot walk. I guess from the fall, he would have injured his foot and the pain from his foot make it, the pain he was feeling in his foot make it uncomfortable for him to walk. When the police discovered that Colin was alive, they decided that they were not going to go for him that night that Colin had to spend the night on the mountain. People remember, when you go to La Sofre in the day, it is very cold in the day when the sun is high. You must imagine what happens in the night when the sun is nowhere around and the temperature fall. Remember people, for every 300 feet you go up, the temperature falls one degree. This is basic science. So you must ask yourself, what kind of people who are managing the first responders of St. Vincent and the Grenadines that they could not find it in their heart to dispatch six police officers to climb that mountain to look for this guy and to see if they can find him and bring him back to safety. No, they don't have that kind of empathy. However, however, Desran Rodriguez, Ozari Williams and Paul Cyrus, these are three guys who often hike. Not a member of the police department, not, they are not force responders, but these guys decided that they would brave any danger that, confront, that would be, they would confront on the hike. And they, in, at that night, went up to La Sofre Volcano and searched for Colin Brown, found Colin Brown and brought him to safety. They brought this young man to safety. If they didn't do that, this young man would have spent the night on that volcano in the cold weather without anyone to keep him company. The psychological effect this would have had on this guy. Don't take, don't, don't, don't talk about the fact that it is very cold on that mountain. He might have died from hypothermia. This is a man who fell and injured himself, was unable to walk. His fall didn't kill him, but hypothermia would have killed him if those guys didn't go up there and rescue him. So I tip my hat to Desmond Rodriguez, Ozari Williams, and Paul Cyrus, three valiant Vincentian men who, who did without thinking twice 
what the first responders who are paid and are trained to do these things refuse to do. People, we are seeing the re-emergence of Vincent and true qualities coming back. We have seen the re-emergence of Vincent and qualities coming back. Remember, it is not to say that the police does not have the resources to tackle this kind of situation under these conditions. We have the, the special service unit, the SSU. These um, these are men who are trained in US Army basic training and they do several in-house training that will equip these people to safely make it up the volcano. Being able to recognize the danger that befall them even in the dark because this is what their training entails. Find this young man and bring him back to safety. There are members, these the special service unit are so trained to deal with these situations under these circumstances, yet the authority refuse to delegate the resources that was needed People, all, all the resources that would have needed was a six or eight men who the police would have sent on the mission. No airfare, no hospital stay, no checkup. My people remember not so long ago, sometime last year, Ralph Gonsard received an injury after he walked through the, the protesters in Kingston. The final conclusion of the police investigation says that the injury that Ralph Gonsal sustained was as a result of someone throwing a key ring after him. You have to take it a bunch of keys. A bunch of keys does not have the weight to hit you in the head and cause a concussion or cause any serious injury because the skull is so designed to protect us from even even more serious and heavier objects hitting us in our head. Yet Ralph Gonzalez was able to fly out of St. Vincent to Barbados, taking a party of security and medical personnel with him to get a CAT scan after he was hit in the head with a key. Prime Minister of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Dr. Ralph Gonzalez, is in Barbados recuperating after having undergone an MRI scan at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital. Prime Minister Gonzalez was flown to Barbados on Thursday evening. Press Secretary Seon Marshall said that the MRI scan was completed and the results show that they are clear. The Prime Minister is expected to return to St. Vincent and the Grenadines tomorrow, Saturday. Ralph Gonzalez wake up last week with a little pain in his side, a gas pain. Yet he was flown out of St. Vincent and the Bernadines with a team of security and medical staff to go to Venezuela for medical attention. Yet the government of St. Vincent and the Bernadines could not dedicate six police officers to go on a hike up La Soufre in the night to recover a taxpaying citizen. However, private citizens who are not trained to participate in these, in these missions saw it fit to go in search of this young man, discover this young man, and brought him back to safety. Something is wrong in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I didn't want to end on a poor note, but we have to deal with the reality. My people, Desron Rodriguez, aka Lava Man, Ozari Williams, I think he is a chiropractor of some sort, and Paul Cyrus, a sport ambassador of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Oh, don't forget, Paul Cyrus have represented St. Vincent and Grenadines on the national level in squash. He is a sporting ambassador. These three private citizens took it upon themselves to face the danger that the police were afraid of facing even though they had the training, 
to face and overcome these dangers and go up to the Lassafre volcano, almost 4,000 feet up the mountain, rugged terrain, discover Colin Brown and bring him back to safety. This is heroic action. These men should always be recognized for the heroic action. For when the people who are paid and are trained to do the job fail to do it because you are afraid to do it, these guys get up and they went and saved this guy. My people, is this coincidence or is this providence? Listen to me carefully. On Sunday, on, on We FM, 99.9 .9 FM in St. Vincent and Grenadines, Ralph Gonsal declared that his party is in the process and will very soon be changing the leadership of the party. That means the post of Prime Minister will be changed and the post of Deputy Prime Minister will be changed. Is it coincidence or is it providence that on the same day that the Vincentian community discovered that Ralph Gonsal is soon going to be leaving the post of Prime Minister. An ex-police officer saw a shooting where mass men attack innocent citizens um, and that police officer got involved and shot one of the mass men. Is it, is it by coincidence or is it providence? That on the same week after Ralph Gonsal declared that he is going to be stepping down from government, these three valiant Vincentian men took it upon themselves to go in search of a brother, a fellow Vincentian, braving the danger. People, is it coincidence or just the news that Ralph Gonsal is will soon be leaving? The office of prime minister has spurred a new attitude in the people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. That they are more valiant and more caring and more concerning and are willing to put them, themselves in danger to protect their own. People look at how much shooting we, shooting we have heard about. Where people decided that they were not getting involved. Look at so much people in dangerous situation where people decided that they were not getting involved. All of a sudden, well, Gunza declared that he is going to be leaving the post of Prime Minister. Vincentian starts stepping up. Vincentian starts caring again. Vincentian starts putting themselves and their lives in danger to protect each other. Is it coincidence or is it providence? <laughs> My name is Chief Strongblood. St. Vincent de Grenadine's favorite and most hated son. Tipping my hat to Desron Rodriguez, aka Lava Man, Ozari Williams, and Paul Cyrus, and that police officer who is yet to be named for going above. Sorry, that retired police officer who is yet to be named for going up and beyond their call of citizenship and stepping in where it is needed to ensure that our country and our people return to a place of safety. Chief Strongblood is saying, have a good weekend, everyone. We'll talk to you on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> So full disclosure, I broke up, eh? You don't say. You broke up, but we have you. We have you. Amen. <laughs>